What's up guys, it's Mark here, back with another video. In today's video, I wanna show you guys how I draw these really bold, simple styles of, uh, of eyes. I make these entirely in Adobe Illustrator, um, using just a few lines, a little bit of the pen tool and some shapes, so it's actually really quite simple. So I've got a couple here that I'm gonna show you, and uh, yeah, by the end of this, you'll, you'll know exactly how to create the exact same thing. So just before I get stuck into the tutorial, really, really quick message I just wanna, you know, something I just wanna say really quick is uh, a few people have been messaging me lately very, very kindly and asking about whether I have like a Patreon or like a PayPal donation thing set up or, or anything like that. Um, it's incredibly kind of you. I, I do not have anything like that set up. Um, I don't ever expect anything like that, uh, but I really, really appreciate that. For those of you who didn't know, I do have an online store with some t-shirts and some patches and pins and stuff that I've designed. So if you really did want to support me, then you could always buy one of those and get something for your money. But I absolutely don't expect anything whatsoever. And I just want to say, I really do appreciate that. You know, I've only got a small channel. So for me to be getting messages like that from people who are already, you know, asking for ways to support me, that's incredibly kind of you. So thank you very much. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get stuck into the video. Okay guys, so I've got my two vector eyes here on the left hand side and these are what I'm going to show you how to draw today. So I'm going to actually start with the one on the right, even though it looks like it's got a bit more detail to it, I actually think it's a little bit easier. So we'll start with that one and then I'll do the one on the left afterwards. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is just draw a circle with the ellipse tool. So I'm going to hold down shift, get a circle, it can be whatever size you want. Uh, then I'm going to copy this circle and then paste in front. So control C and then control F or command C and then command F. Try to remember that one because I'll probably use that a few times throughout this uh, tutorial because I keep duplicating a lot of circles and stuff like that. So I'm going to yeah duplicate it, paste in front and then just scale it up a little bit. Um, you'll notice it's black. I'm going to just make sure I turn off the fill so that we can actually see that, uh, that other line. Then I'm going to duplicate it again and put it in front. This time I'm actually gonna swap the fill to be white instead of black, like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna just move it off to this side and just shrink it down a little bit. It's also got a black stroke at the moment. Technically it doesn't really need to have that, so I might just turn that off as well. Shrink it down so it's at a good size. And I might actually bump up the stroke on this as well. I like mine to be pretty bold, pretty thick. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that we've got those first few circles in place, we're going to start working on the outer shape of the eye. So what I'm going to do is just select this real quick so I can see where it is. I'm going to go up to my rulers here and drag down a guideline. Now, if these aren't visible, um, just press Control R or Command R and it'll bring up the rulers. I'm just going to click this and drag it down to be around about that uh, halfway point. It should snap on as well if you have snap uh, enabled. And then with that, I'm then going to hit P on my keyboard uh, to grab the pen tool. I'm going to click anywhere out on this guideline that you like. It's really easy to move this after anyway, so don't stress too much about it. I'm going to click out here. And after I click, I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag my mouse just a little bit to the right. And then I'm going to go up here and click another point where there's this uh, intersection here where it, it meets the other anchor point. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. So I'm gonna click and with my mouse button held down, I'm gonna hold shift and then drag my mouse to the right so I can get a curve. And there you have it. Now it's invisible, that's fine. I'll just quickly use the eyedropper to add that stroke again. Okay. So for this one, I think I might add a bit more of a curve to this line here. Uh, so that one, just to remind you guys, is shift C on the keyboard to get that anchor point tool so you can modify the lines like that. And the reason we've only done one one portion is because we're gonna just duplicate this and then reflect it and stuff like that so that we can do all the others and make sure everything is nicely symmetrical without having to do too much of the work ourselves. So with that first line in place, uh, once again, I'm gonna do the, uh, uh, the copy in, in front. So again, Control C, Control F. So now technically there are two copies of this line. If I just drag this one uh, to the side, you can see there's a second line there. With that top line selected, I'm gonna right click it, go down to transform and click reflect. Now, because I've got the preview option here, you can you can see it already. Yours might not be ticked by default. Um, just you can tick that to see what's gonna happen. And I wanna flip it over the vertical axis. So I want it to be set to vertical. Then I'm just gonna click okay. And then I'm going to click this line. I'm gonna hold shift 
and I'm gonna drag it to the right until it meets the other line. You can see there it intersects. Okay, cool. Oop, and I just missed that the tiniest bit. So if I zoom in and use the selection tool to highlight these, you can see that it looks like there's only one point there. So they're definitely intersecting, which is good. So now what I wanna do is just join these so that they become one line before I do any more duplication. So I'm gonna select both, right click and hit join. So now once again, I'm going to uh, copy and paste it. So control C, control F, right click this copy hit transform and hit reflect. But this time, instead of vertical, I want horizontal. And then I'm gonna click okay, and this will form the bottom part of the eyelid. So again, drag it down until I meet that point. Um, if you want to be really precise, you can zoom in by the way. Uh, and yeah, so now we have that symmetrical eye shape. So the next thing we want to do is grab this, this top copy again. And once again, we're gonna copy and paste in front. And then I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to use the direct selection tool, which is the one up here or A on your keyboard. I'm gonna grab this anchor point and check this out. I'm gonna just hold shift and drag this one up away from the other eyelid. And now we can start to see that other shape starting to form. So this is gonna need a little bit of tweaking. So I'm gonna again use the anchor point tool. Let's shift and C to click on this point uh, and then drag it out to a point where it gives it a bit more space like that which I think is looking pretty cool. Alrighty, so now that we've got the main shapes out of the way, I'm just gonna get rid of this guide real quick and just delete that. You can always right click it and hide them by the way. Uh, so next what I'm gonna do is add these outer lines here. I kinda like these, it kinda looks like the eye is stressing out a little bit. So to add those, once again, you guessed it, we are going to duplicate a circle. So oh, I've actually grouped these, I need to just, I'm just gonna ungroup them, make it a bit easier. I'm gonna grab this outer circle, once again, copy and paste in front, drag it out, like that. Okay, so what we wanna do now is select this one. We're gonna come in nice and close, and I'm going to hit C on my keyboard, which is the scissor tool. And what I'm gonna do is just cut these parts. There's a few ways that you can do this part, by the way. I like to use the scissor tool because I, you know, I can get as precise as I want with it. So I'm just gonna click on the path here and then you can see it looks like it's added an anchor point and then I'm gonna click again further down here. So now what that's done is it's actually cut that path there. So if I just click and drag this part away, you can see it's actually separated it from the rest of the circle, which is exactly what I want. So now I'm gonna just grab the rest of the circle here and delete it. Um, this doesn't have the round tip on it, so I'm just gonna quickly set that again. And then with that selected, I might actually just bring it in a tiny bit. I'm going to once again, copy and paste it and drag the other one across over here, right click it, transform, and you guessed it, just reflect it again. And there you go. Technically, I could have just cut two sections from the circle as well, which would be fine, but I kind of like these to be slightly different. I don't want them to be exactly the same. Um, it's just a, another way to add a bit more character, I think, to the eye. So yeah, there you go. That's most of the eye. Now, the sort of rays, well, I just call them rays, I don't really know what these are called, but these lines, uh, another technique that we can do for these, uh, what we can do is simply draw, with the pen tool, I'm gonna draw a vertical line straight down. Then I'm gonna click this first point here and uh, draw another one out at another angle. It can be 45 degrees if you want, it doesn't really matter. And then what I'm gonna do is click again and draw a third line, but I don't want this one to be quite as long, just somewhere in the middle. Technically, again, there are some ways that you can make copies of these at really precise angles, but I'm not too picky about mine. I kind of like it to be a little bit, little bit quirky like that. Okay, so now, now what I'm going to do is draw a circle. I'm gonna, with the circle tool, I'm going to click on this top point up here, hold down shift and alt, and draw a circle out to here. Uh, I'm just gonna move this away actually from the eye so it doesn't get too confusing. And I might move this point a little bit too. And then now once again, we're gonna grab that scissor tool. So I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard, select these lines that I wanna modify, hit C on my keyboard, click where it intersects like that. And again, I'll use this one, click where it intersects. And this one, click where it intersects. So now if I drag this circle and these lines away, 
I'm left with those those rays at that, that angle. So once again, <laughs> once again, I feel like a broken record here, but once again, I'm gonna copy these, paste it in front, right click, transform, reflect it, and that's gonna give us the ones for the other side. So drag them until they line up, right click and just group them so that they stay there. I'm gonna right click and group this so it stays, oh, it's already grouped, oh, man, I'm good. Uh, I'm just gonna grab that. and line them up wherever I want them. These ones actually went a bit longer, but uh, yeah, as you can see, still looks pretty cool. You can center it up and everything to just make sure it's at the right spot. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you draw that eye. So hopefully that wasn't too difficult for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I explained there, by all means, let me know in the comments. So for this eye over here, pretty much the exact same process. The only, the only difference is uh, the eye here isn't quite in the uh, in the center and we cropped it behind the eyelid so there's a couple of ways you could have done this if I had drawn a shape like this I could have just given it a white fill and it would have just hidden the eye but what I actually did was again use that scissor tool so so I had my eyelid again I'll just quickly draw a, a really rough one you know, obviously it's not perfect and then I had my eyeball if you just imagine that that's the eyeball in there and then I used the scissor tool once again to, to just hit C on my keyboard and click where the two points intersect like so. And then I was able to just remove that segment. Like so. The rays above this eye as well, exactly the same process as I did before. I just kept the angles a little bit tighter and made the, the lines a bit shorter. And for these little teardrops, um, these are kind of cool, kind of easy to draw as well. I can just use the pen tool again to click a point up here. I'm gonna click down below it here and hold down shift and drag to the right. And I get that kind of curved effect. And what I can do once again is duplicate that, transform and reflect it, drag it across, making sure it's symmetrical and stuff. And there you go, so you have that, that shape as well. So yeah, there you go guys. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated. I know the pencil can be a bit tricky, especially if you've not really used it before. So I hope I didn't um, you know, make it too hard to understand. But if you have any questions about anything you saw in the video, uh, as always, just ask away in the comments or feel free to send me a message or something like that if you prefer. And I'll try and help you guys out. Uh, I would really appreciate if you enjoyed the video, if you could give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next one, guys.